Virtual work arises in the application of the principle of least action to the study of forces and movement of a mechanical system. The work of a force acting on a particle as it moves along a displacement will be different for different displacements. Among all the possible displacements that a particle may follow, called virtual displacements, one will minimize the action. This displacement is therefore the displacement followed by the particle according to the principle of least action. The work of a force on a particle along a virtual displacement is known as the virtual work. Historically, virtual work and the associated calculus of variations were formulated to analyze systems of rigid bodies, but they have also been developed for the study of the mechanics of deformable bodies. History The principle of virtual work had always been used in some form since antiquity in the study of statics. It was used by the Greeks, medieval Arabs and Latins, and Renaissance Italians as the law of lever. The idea of virtual work was invoked by many notable physicists of the 17th century, such as Galileo, Descartes, Torricelli, Wallace, and Huygens, in varying degrees of generality, when solving problems in statics. Working with Leibnizian concepts, Johann Bernoulli systematized the virtual work principle and made explicit the concept of infinitesimal displacement. He was able to solve problems for both rigid bodies as well as fluids. Bernoulli's version of virtual work law appeared in his letter to Pierre Varignon in 1715, which was later published in Varignon's second volume of Nouvelle Mécanique au Statique in 1725. This formulation of the principle is today known as the principle of virtual velocities and is commonly considered as the prototype of the contemporary virtual work principles. In 1743 d'Alembert published his Traité de Dynamique where he applied the principle of virtual work, based on Bernoulli's work, to solve various problems in dynamics. His idea was to convert a dynamical problem into static problem by introducing inertial force. In 1768, Lagrange presented the virtual work principle in a more efficient form by introducing generalized coordinates and presented it as an alternative principle of mechanics by which all problems of equilibrium could be solved. A systematic exposition of Lagrange's program of applying this approach to all of mechanics, both static and dynamic, essentially d'Alembert's principle, was given in his Mécanique analytique of 1788. Although Lagrange had presented his version of least action principle prior to this work, he recognized the virtual work principle to be more fundamental mainly because it could be assumed alone as the foundation for all mechanics, unlike the modern understanding that least action does not account for non-conservative forces. Overview If a force acts on a particle as it moves from point A to point B, then, for each possible trajectory that the particle may take, it is possible to compute the total work done by the force along the path. The principle of virtual work, which is the form of the principle of least action applied to these systems, states that the path actually followed by the particle is the one for which the difference between the work along this path and other nearby paths is zero to first order. The formal procedure for computing the difference of functions evaluated on nearby paths is a generalization of the derivative known from differential calculus, and is termed the calculus of variations. Consider a point particle that moves along a path which is described by a function r t from point A, where r t t0, t0 to point B, where r t t1. It is possible that the particle moves from A to B along a nearby path described by r t plus delta r t, where delta r t is called the variation of r t. The variation delta r t satisfies the requirement delta r t zero. Topic delta r t one zero. The components of the variation delta r one t, delta r two t, and delta r three t are called virtual displacements. This can be generalized to an arbitrary mechanical system defined by the generalized coordinates chi, i. Topic 1 n, in which case, the variation of the trajectory chi, t, is defined by the virtual displacements delta chi, i. 
1 n virtual work is the total work done by the applied forces and the inertial forces of a mechanical system as it moves through a set of virtual displacements when considering forces applied to a body in static equilibrium the principle of least action requires the virtual work of these forces to be zero topic <inaudible> <inaudible> introduction Consider a particle P that moves from a point A to a point B along a trajectory R T, while a force F R T is applied to it. The work done by the force F is given by the integral W equals R T 0 equals A R T 1 equals B F D R equals T zero T one F D R D T D T equals T zero T one F V D T display style w equals in underscore math bf r t underscore zero equals a caret math bf r t underscore one equals b math bf f c d o t d math bf r equals in underscore t underscore zero caret t underscore one math bf f c d o t f r a c d math bf r d t tilde d t equals in underscore t underscore zero caret t underscore one math bf f c dot math bf v tilde dt where doctor is the differential element along the curve that is the trajectory of p and v is its velocity it is important to notice that the value of the work w depends on the trajectory rt now consider particle p that moves from point a to point b again but this time it moves along the nearby trajectory that differs from rt by the variation delta rt equals epsilon ht where epsilon is a scaling constant that can be made as small as desired and ht is an arbitrary function that satisfies ht0 topic <laughs> ht1 0. Suppose the force F R T plus epsilon H T is the same as F R T. The work done by the force is given by the integral W equals R T 0 equals A R T 1 equals B F D R plus E H equals T zero T one F D R T plus E H T D T D T equals T zero T one F V plus E H D T Display style bar W equals int underscore Math BF R T underscore zero equals A carrot Math BF R T underscore one equals B Math BF F C D O T D Math BF R plus Epsilon Math BF H equals int underscore T underscore zero carrot T underscore one Math BF F C D O T F R A C D Math BF R T plus Epsilon Math BF H T D T tilde D T equals int underscore T underscore zero carrot T underscore one Math BF F C D O T Math BF V plus Epsilon dot Math BF H tilde D T The variation of the work delta W associated with this nearby path, known as the virtual work, can be computed to be Delta W equals W minus W equals 
T zero T one F E H D T Display style delta W equals bar W W equals int underscore T underscore zero carrot T underscore one Math BF F C D O T Epsilon dot Math BF H tilde D T if there are no constraints on the motion of p, then six parameters are needed to completely describe p's position at any time t. If there are k, k six constraint forces, then n. Topic six k parameters are needed. Hence, we can define n generalized coordinates chi t i one two n and express r t and delta r equals epsilon h t in terms of the generalized coordinates that is r t equals r q 1 q 2 q n t Display style Math BF R T equals Math BF R Q underscore one Q underscore two Q underscore N T H T equals H Q one Q two Q N T Display style Math BF H T equals Math BF H Q underscore one Q underscore two Q underscore N T. Then the derivative of the variation delta R equals Epsilon H T is given by D D T Delta R equals D D T E H equals I equals one N H Q I E Q I Display style FRAC D D T delta Math BF R equals FRAC D D T Epsilon Math BF H equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N FRAC partial Math BF H partial Q underscore I Epsilon dot Q underscore I Then we have Delta W equals T zero T one I equals one N F H Q I E Q I D T equals I equals one N T zero T one F H Q I E Q I D T Display style delta W equals int underscore T underscore zero carrot T underscore one left sum underscore I equals one carrot N Math BF F C D O T F R A C partial Math BF H partial Q underscore I Epsilon dot Q underscore I right D T equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N left int underscore T underscore zero carrot T underscore one Math BF F C D O T F R A C partial Math BF H partial Q underscore I epsilon dot Q underscore I tilde DT right. The requirement that the virtual work be zero for an arbitrary variation delta R T equals epsilon H T is equivalent to the set of requirements Q I equals F H Q I equals zero I equals 1 n display style q underscore i equals math bf f c d o t f r a c partial math bf h partial q underscore i equals 0 quad i equals 1 l dots n 
The terms chi are called the generalized forces associated with the virtual displacement delta r. Topic: <laughs> Static equilibrium. Static equilibrium is a state in which the net force and net torque acted upon the system as zero. In other words, both linear momentum and angular momentum of the system are conserved. The principle of virtual work states that the virtual work of the applied forces is zero for all virtual movements of the system from static equilibrium. This principle can be generalized such that three-dimensional rotations are included, the virtual work of the applied forces and applied moments is zero for all virtual movements of the system from static equilibrium. That is delta w equals i equals 1 m f i delta r i plus j equals 1 n m j delta phi j equals 0 Display style delta W equals sum underscore I equals one carrot M Math BF F underscore I C D O T delta Math BF R underscore I plus sum underscore J equals one carrot N Math BF M underscore J C D O T delta Math BF Phi underscore J equals zero Where Phi I Topic one two M and M J J one two N are the applied forces and applied moments, respectively, and delta re I. Topic one two M and Dief J J one two N are the virtual displacements and virtual rotations, respectively. Suppose the system consists of n particles, and it has f, f n degrees of freedom. It is sufficient to use only f coordinates to give a complete description of the motion of the system, so f generalized coordinates q k, k equals 1, 2. f are defined such that the virtual movements can be expressed in terms of these generalized coordinates. That is, delta R I Q one Q two Q F T I equals one two M Display style delta Math BF R underscore I Q underscore one Q underscore two Q underscore F T quad I equals one two M Delta Phi J Q one Q two Q F T J equals one two N Display style delta phi underscore j q underscore one q underscore two q underscore f t quad j equals one two n. The virtual work can then be reparametrized by the generalized coordinates delta w equals k equals one f i equals 1 m f i r i q k plus j equals 1 n m j phi j q k delta Q K equals K equals one F Q K delta Q K 
k display style delta w equals sum underscore k equals 1 caret f left left sum underscore i equals 1 caret m math b f f underscore i c d o t f r a c partial math b f r underscore i partial q underscore k plus sum underscore j equals 1 caret n math b f m underscore j c d o t f r a c partial math b f phi underscore j partial q underscore k right delta q underscore k right equals sum underscore k equals one carrot f q underscore k delta q underscore k where the generalized forces q k are defined as q k equals i equals one m f i r i q k plus j equals 1 n m j phi j q k k equals 1 2 f Display style q underscore k equals sum underscore i equals one caret m math b f f underscore i c d o t f r a c partial math b f r underscore i partial q underscore k plus sum underscore j equals one caret n math b f m underscore j c d o t f r a c partial math b f phi underscore j partial q underscore k quad k equals one two f Kane shows that these generalized forces can also be formulated in terms of the ratio of time derivatives. That is q k equals i equals 1 m f i v i q k plus j equals 1 n m j omega j q k k equals 1 2 f Display style q underscore k equals sum underscore i equals one carrot m math b f f underscore i c d o t f r a c partial math b f v underscore i partial dot q underscore k plus sum underscore j equals one carrot n math b f m underscore j c d o t f r a c partial math b f omega underscore j partial dot q underscore k quad k equals one two F The principle of virtual work requires that the virtual work done on a system by the forces phi and moments mj vanishes if it is in equilibrium. Therefore, the generalized forces qk are zero, that is delta w equals zero q k equals zero k equals 1 2 f display style delta w equals 0 quad right arrow quad q underscore k equals 0 quad k equals 1 2 f topic constraint forces An important benefit of the principle of virtual work is that only forces that do work as the system moves through a virtual displacement are needed to determine the mechanics of the system. There are many forces in a mechanical system that do no work during a virtual displacement, which means that they need not be considered in this analysis. The two important examples are I, the internal forces in a rigid body, and e, the constraint forces at an ideal joint. Lanczos presents this as the postulate. The virtual work of the forces of reaction is always zero for any virtual displacement which is in harmony with the given kinematic constraints. The argument is as follows. The principle of virtual work states that in equilibrium the virtual work of the forces applied to a system is zero. 
Newton's laws state that at equilibrium the applied forces are equal and opposite to the reaction, or constraint forces. This means the virtual work of the constraint forces must be zero as well. Law of the lever A lever is modeled as a rigid bar connected to a ground frame by a hinged joint called a fulcrum. The lever is operated by applying an input force F A at a point A located by the coordinate vector Ra on the bar. The lever then exerts an output force F B at the point B located by R B. The rotation of the lever about the fulcrum P is defined by the rotation angle θ. Let the coordinate vector of the point P that defines the fulcrum be RP, and introduce the lengths a equals R A minus R P B equals R B minus R P Display style a equals math bf r underscore a math bf r underscore p quad b equals math bf r underscore b math bf r underscore p, which are the distances from the fulcrum to the input point A and to the output point B, respectively. Now introduce the unit vectors a and eb from the fulcrum to the point A and B. So r a minus r P equals A E A R B minus R P equals B E B Display style Math BF R underscore a Math BF R underscore P equals a Math BF E underscore a quad Math BF R underscore B Math BF R underscore P equals B Math BF E underscore B. This notation allows us to define the velocity of the points A and B as V A equals theta A E A V B equals theta B E B display style math BF V underscore a equals dot theta a math BF E underscore a carrot perp quad math BF V underscore B equals dot theta B math BF E underscore B carrot perp where a and eb are unit vectors perpendicular to a and eb respectively. The angle θ is the generalized coordinate that defines the configuration of the lever, therefore using the formula above for forces applied to a one degree of freedom mechanism, the generalized force is given by Q equals F A V A θ minus F B V B θ equals a f a e a minus b f b e b Display style Q equals Math BF F underscore a C D O T F R A C partial Math BF V underscore a partial dot theta Math BF F underscore B C D O T F R A C partial Math BF V underscore B partial dot theta equals a Math BF F underscore a C D O T Math BF E underscore a carrot per B Math BF F underscore B C D O T Math BF E underscore B perp. Now, denote as F A and F B the components of the forces that are perpendicular to the radial segments P A and P B. These forces are given by F A equals F A E A F B equals F B E B. 
Display style F underscore O equals Math BF F underscore a C D O T Math BF E underscore a carrot perp quad F underscore B equals Math BF F underscore B C D O T Math BF E underscore B carrot perp This notation and the principle of virtual work yield the formula for the generalized forces Q equals A F a minus B F B equals zero. Display style Q equals A F underscore a B F underscore B equals zero. The ratio of the output force F B to the input force F A is the mechanical advantage of the lever, and is obtained from the principle of virtual work as M A equals F B F A equals A B display style M A equals frac F underscore B F underscore A equals frac A B. This equation shows that if the distance A from the fulcrum to the point A where the input force is applied is greater than the distance B from fulcrum to the point B where the output force is applied, then the lever amplifies the input force. If the opposite is true that the distance from the fulcrum to the input point A is less than from the fulcrum to the output point B, then the lever reduces the magnitude of the input force. This is the law of the lever, which was proven by Archimedes using geometric reasoning. Gear train A gear train is formed by mounting gears on a frame so that the teeth of the gears engage. Gear teeth are designed to ensure the pitch circles of engaging gears roll on each other without slipping, this provides a smooth transmission of rotation from one gear to the next. For this analysis, we consider a gear train that has one degree of freedom, which means the angular rotation of all the gears in the gear train are defined by the angle of the input gear. The size of the gears and the sequence in which they engage define the ratio of the angular velocity omega a of the input gear to the angular velocity omega b of the output gear, known as the speed ratio, or gear ratio, of the gear train. Let r be the speed ratio, then omega o omega b equals r Display style frac omega underscore a omega underscore b equals r. The input torque ta acting on the input gear ga is transformed by the gear train into the output torque tb exerted by the output gear gb. If we assume that the gears are rigid and that there are no losses in the engagement of the gear teeth, then the principle of virtual work can be used to analyze the static equilibrium of the gear train. Let the angle theta of the input gear be the generalized coordinate of the gear train, then the speed ratio r of the gear train defines the angular velocity of the output gear in terms of the input gear, that is omega a equals omega omega b equals omega r Display style omega underscore a equals omega quad omega underscore b equals omega r. The formula above for the principle of virtual work with applied torques yields the generalized force Q equals T a omega a omega minus T b omega b omega equals t a minus t b r equals 0 display style q equals t underscore a frac partial omega underscore a partial omega t underscore b frac partial omega underscore b partial omega equals t underscore a t underscore b r equals 0 the mechanical advantage of the gear train is the ratio of the output torque tb to the input torque ta and the above equation yields m a equals t B T A equals R 
Display style M A equals FRAC T underscore B T underscore A equals R. Thus, the speed ratio of a gear train also defines its mechanical advantage. This shows that if the input gear rotates faster than the output gear, then the gear train amplifies the input torque. And, if the input gear rotates slower than the output gear, then the gear train reduces the input torque. <laughs> Dynamic equilibrium for rigid bodies If the principle of virtual work for applied forces is used on individual particles of a rigid body, the principle can be generalized for a rigid body. When a rigid body that is in equilibrium is subject to virtual compatible displacements, the total virtual work of all external forces is zero, and conversely, if the total virtual work of all external forces acting on a rigid body is zero then the body is in equilibrium. If a system is not in static equilibrium, D'Alembert showed that by introducing the acceleration terms of Newton's laws as inertia forces, this approach is generalized to define dynamic equilibrium. The result is D'Alembert's form of the principle of virtual work, which is used to derive the equations of motion for a mechanical system of rigid bodies. The expression compatible displacements means that the particles remain in contact and displace together so that the work done by pairs of action reaction interparticle forces cancel out. Various forms of this principle have been credited to Johann Jean Bernoulli 1667 to 1748 and Daniel Bernoulli 1700 to 1782. Topic: Generalized inertia forces. Let a mechanical system be constructed from n rigid bodies, by, I equals 1 n, and let the resultant of the applied forces on each body be the force-torque pairs, phi and t, I equals 1 n. Notice that these applied forces do not include the reaction forces where the bodies are connected. Finally, assume that the velocity v and angular velocities omega i, i equals, 1 n, for each rigid body, are defined by a single generalized coordinate q. Such a system of rigid bodies is said to have one degree of freedom. Consider a single rigid body which moves under the action of a resultant force f and torque t, with one degree of freedom defined by the generalized coordinate q. Assume the reference point for the resultant force and torque is the center of mass of the body, then the generalized inertia force q** associated with the generalized coordinate q is given by Q equals minus M A V Q minus I R alpha plus omega times I R omega omega Q Display style q caret asterisk equals m math bf a c d o t f r a c partial math bf v partial dot q i underscore r alpha plus omega times i underscore r omega c d o t f r a c partial v e c omega partial dot q. This inertia force can be computed from the kinetic energy of the rigid body. T equals one. 2 m v v plus 1 2 omega i r omega Display style t equals frac 1 2 m math bf v c d o t math bf v plus frac 1 2 vec omega c d o t i underscore r vec omega by using the formula q equals minus d d t t q minus t q display style q caret asterisk equals left frac d dt frac partial t partial dot q frac partial t partial q right a system of n rigid bodies with m generalized coordinates has the kinetic energy T equals I equals 
1 n 1 2 m v i v i plus 1 2 omega i i r omega i Display style t equals sum underscore i equals one caret n frac one two m math bf v underscore i c d o t math bf v underscore i plus frac one two vec omega underscore i c d o t i underscore r vec omega underscore i, which can be used to calculate the m generalized inertia forces. Q j equals Minus d d t t q j minus t q j j equals one m Display style q underscore j caret asterisk equals left frac d d t frac partial t partial dot q underscore j frac partial t partial q underscore j right quad j equals one l dots m. Topic: D'Alembert's form of the principle of virtual work. D'Alembert's form of the principle of virtual work states that a system of rigid bodies is in dynamic equilibrium when the virtual work of the sum of the applied forces and the inertial forces is zero for any virtual displacement of the system. Thus, dynamic equilibrium of a system of n rigid bodies with m generalized coordinates requires that delta w equals q one plus q one delta q one plus plus q m plus q m delta q m equals zero Display style delta w equals q underscore one plus q underscore one caret asterisk delta q underscore one plus l dots plus q underscore m plus q underscore m caret asterisk delta q underscore m equals zero for any set of virtual displacements delta q j. This condition yields m equations q j plus q j equals 0 j equals 1 m display style q underscore j plus q underscore j caret asterisk equals 0 quad j equals 1 l dots m which can also be written as d d t t q j minus T Q J equals Q J J equals one M Display style FRAC D D T FRAC partial T partial dot Q underscore J FRAC partial T partial Q underscore J equals Q underscore J quad J equals one L dots M the result is a set of m equations of motion that define the dynamics of the rigid body system. If the generalized forces qj are derivable from a potential energy v q1 qm, then these equations of motion take the form d d t t q j minus t q j equals minus v q j j equals 1 m 
Display style FRAC D DT FRAC partial T partial dot Q underscore J FRAC partial T partial Q underscore J equals FRAC partial V partial Q underscore J quad J equals one L dots M in this case, introduce the Lagrangian, L equals T V, so these equations of motion become D D T L Q J minus L Q J equals zero J equals one M Display style FRAC D DT FRAC partial L partial dot Q underscore J FRAC partial L partial Q underscore J equals zero quad J equals one L dots M. These are known as Lagrange's equations of motion. Topic Virtual work principle for a deformable body. Consider now the free body diagram of a deformable body, which is composed of an infinite number of differential cubes. Let's define two unrelated states for the body. The sigma display style bold symbol sigma state. This shows external surface forces T, body forces F, and internal stresses. Sigma display style bold symbol sigma in equilibrium. E display style bold symbol epsilon state. This shows continuous displacements. U display style math bf u caret asterisk and consistent strains. E display style bold symbol epsilon caret asterisk. The superscript asterisk emphasizes that the two states are unrelated. Other than the above stated conditions, there is no need to specify if any of the states are real or virtual. Imagine now that the forces and stresses in the sigma display style bold symbol sigma state undergo the displacements and deformations in the e display style bold symbol epsilon state we can compute the total virtual imaginary work done by all forces acting on the faces of all cubes in two different ways first by summing the work done by forces such as f a Display style f underscore a, which act on individual common faces fig c. Since the material experiences compatible displacements, such work cancels out, leaving only the virtual work done by the surface forces T, which are equal to stresses on the cube's faces by equilibrium. Second, by computing the net work done by stresses or forces such as f a, display style f underscore a, f B display style f underscore b, which act on an individual cube, e.g. for the one-dimensional case in Fig. C f b u plus u x d x minus f a u approximately equals u x sigma d v plus u sigma x d v equals e sigma d v minus u f d v Display style f underscore b left u caret asterisk plus frac partial u caret asterisk partial x dx right f underscore a u caret asterisk approximately frac partial u caret asterisk partial x sigma dv plus u caret asterisk frac partial sigma partial x dv equals epsilon caret asterisk sigma dv u caret asterisk f dv, where the equilibrium relation Sigma x plus f equals zero. Display style frac partial sigma partial x plus f equals zero. 
has been used and the second order term has been neglected, integrating over the whole body gives V E T Sigma D V Display style int underscore V bold symbol epsilon carrot asterisk T bold symbol sigma D V Work done by the body forces F, equating the two results leads to the principle of virtual work for a deformable body. Total external virtual work equals V E T Sigma D V D Display style M box total external virtual work equals int underscore V bold symbol epsilon carrot asterisk T bold symbol sigma D V Q quad mathem D where the total external virtual work is done by T and F. Thus S U T T D S plus V U T F D V equals V E T Sigma D V E Display style int underscore s math bf u caret asterisk t math bf t d s plus int underscore v math bf u caret asterisk t math bf f d v equals int underscore v bold symbol epsilon caret asterisk t bold symbol sigma d v q quad mathrm e. The right hand side of d e is often called the internal virtual work. The principle of virtual work then states, external virtual work is equal to internal virtual work when equilibrated forces and stresses undergo unrelated but consistent displacements and strains. It includes the principle of virtual work for rigid bodies as a special case where the internal virtual work is zero. Topic. Proof of equivalence between the principle of virtual work and the equilibrium equation We start by looking at the total work done by surface traction on the body going through the specified deformation S U T D S equals S U sigma N D S Display style int underscore s math bf u c d o t t d s equals int underscore s math bf u c d o t bold symbol sigma c d o t n d s. Applying divergence theorem to the right hand side yields s u sigma n d s equals v u sigma d v display style int underscore s math bf u c d o t bold symbol sigma c d o t n d s equals int underscore v nabla c d o t left math bf u c d o t bold symbol sigma right d v now switch to initial notation for the ease of derivation v u sigma D V equals V X J U I Sigma I J D V equals V U I X J Sigma i j plus u i sigma i j x j d v display style begin aligned int underscore v nabla c d o t left math b f u c d o t bold symbol sigma right d v and equals int underscore v f r a c partial partial x underscore j left u underscore i sigma underscore i j right d v and equals int underscore v f r a c partial u underscore i partial x underscore j sigma underscore i 
I J plus U underscore I F R A C partial sigma underscore I J partial X underscore J D V end aligned to continue our derivation, we substitute in the equilibrium equation sigma I J X J plus F I equals zero display style F R A C partial sigma underscore I J partial X underscore J plus F underscore I equals zero. Then V U I X J Sigma I J plus U I Sigma I J X J D V equals V U I X J Sigma I J minus U I F I D V Display style int underscore V F R A C partial U underscore I partial X underscore J Sigma underscore I J plus U underscore I F R A C partial Sigma underscore I J partial X underscore J D V equals int underscore V F R A C partial U underscore I partial X underscore J Sigma underscore I J U underscore I F underscore I D V the first term on the right-hand side needs to be broken into a symmetric part and a skew part as follows. V U I X J Sigma I J minus U I F I D V equals V one two U I X J plus U J X I plus U I X J minus U J X I Sigma I J minus U I F I D V equals V E I J plus one two U I X J minus U J X I Sigma I J minus U I F I D V equals V E I J Sigma I J Minus U I F I D V equals V E sigma minus U F D V display style begin aligned int underscore V F R A C partial U underscore I partial X underscore J sigma underscore I J U underscore I F underscore I D V and equals int underscore V F R A C one two left left F R A C partial U underscore I partial X underscore J plus F R A C partial U underscore J partial X underscore I right plus left F R A C partial U underscore I partial X underscore J F R A C partial U underscore J partial X underscore I right right Sigma underscore I J U underscore I F underscore I D V and equals int underscore V left Epsilon underscore I J plus F R A C one two left F R A C partial U underscore I partial X underscore J F R A C partial U underscore J partial X underscore I right right Sigma underscore I J U underscore I F underscore 
I D V and equals int underscore V epsilon underscore I J sigma underscore I J U underscore I F underscore I D V and equals int underscore V bold symbol epsilon bold symbol sigma math B F U C D O T Math B F F D V end aligned where E display style bold symbol epsilon is the strain that is consistent with the specified displacement field. The second to last equality comes from the fact that the stress matrix is symmetric and that the product of a skew matrix and a symmetric matrix is zero. Now recap. We have shown through the above derivation that S U T D S equals V E sigma D V minus V U F D V Display style int underscore S Math BF U C D O T T D S equals int underscore V bold symbol Epsilon bold symbol Sigma D V int underscore V Math BF U C D O T Math BF F D V Move the second term on the right hand side of the equation to the left S U T D S plus V U F D V equals V E sigma D V Display style int underscore S Math BF U C D O T T D S plus int underscore V Math BF U C D O T Math BF F D V equals int underscore V bold symbol Epsilon bold symbol Sigma D V The physical interpretation of the above equation is the external virtual work is equal to internal virtual work when equilibrated forces and stresses undergo unrelated but consistent displacements and strains. For practical applications, in order to impose equilibrium on real stresses and forces, we use consistent virtual displacements and strains in the virtual work equation. In order to impose consistent displacements and strains, we use equilibriated virtual stresses and forces in the virtual work equation. These two general scenarios give rise to two often stated variational principles. They are valid irrespective of material behavior. Topic. Principle of virtual displacements Depending on the purpose, we may specialize the virtual work equation. For example, to derive the principle of virtual displacements in variational notations for supported bodies, we specify Virtual displacements and strains as variations of the real displacements and strains using variational notation such as Delta U U Display style delta math bf u equiv math bf u caret asterisk and delta e e display style delta bold symbol epsilon equiv bold symbol epsilon caret asterisk virtual displacements be zero on the part of the surface that has prescribed displacements, and thus the work done by the reactions is zero. There remains only external surface forces on the part s t. Display style s underscore t that do work. The virtual work equation then becomes the principle of virtual displacements. S t delta u t t d s plus v delta u t f d V equals V delta E T sigma D V F Display style int underscore S underscore T delta Math BF U carrot T Math BF T D S plus int underscore V delta Math BF U carrot T Math BF F D V equals int underscore V delta bold symbol epsilon carrot T bold symbol sigma D V Q quad mathem F this relation is equivalent to the set of equilibrium equations written for a differential element in the deformable body as well as of the stress boundary conditions on the part S T 
display style s underscore t of the surface. Conversely, f can be reached, albeit in a non-trivial manner, by starting with the differential equilibrium equations and the stress boundary conditions on s t display style s underscore t and proceeding in the manner similar to a and b. Since virtual displacements are automatically compatible when they are expressed in terms of continuous, single-valued functions, we often mention only the need for consistency between strains and displacements. The virtual work principle is also valid for large real displacements, however, EQ, F would then be written using more complex measures of stresses and strains. Topic. Principle of virtual forces Here, we specify virtual forces and stresses as variations of the real forces and stresses. Virtual forces be zero on the part S T displaystyle S underscore T of the surface that has prescribed forces, and thus only surface reaction forces on S U displaystyle S underscore U where displacements are prescribed would do work, the virtual work equation becomes the principle of virtual forces S U U T delta T D S plus V U T delta F D V equals V E T delta sigma D V G Display style int underscore s underscore u math bf u caret t delta math bf t d s plus int underscore v math bf u caret t delta math bf f d v equals int underscore v bold symbol epsilon caret t delta bold symbol sigma d v q quad mathrm g. This relation is equivalent to the set of strain compatibility equations as well as of the displacement boundary conditions on the part. S U display style S underscore U. It has another name, the principle of complementary virtual work. Topic: Alternative forms. A specialization of the principle of virtual forces is the unit dummy force method, which is very useful for computing displacements in structural systems. According to D'Alembert's principle, inclusion of inertial forces as additional body forces will give the virtual work equation applicable to dynamical systems. More generalized principles can be derived by allowing variations of all quantities, using Lagrange multipliers to impose boundary conditions and or to relax the conditions specified in the two states, these are described in some of the references. Among the many energy principles in structural mechanics, the virtual work principle deserves a special place due to its generality that leads to powerful applications in structural analysis, solid mechanics, and finite element method in structural mechanics. See also Flexibility method Unit dummy force method Finite element method in structural mechanics Calculus of variations Lagrangian mechanics Muller-Breslau's principle External links Examples applications of the virtual work principle